over the years there have been many great mysteries. However, one of the most intriguing is the lost colony of Roanoke Island. Scientists have recently announced that they're going to study an engraved rock. This rock could hold the answers to the mysterious lost colony of Roanoke. It's been described as one of history's greatest mysteries. This is because more than a hundred English settlers of the 16th century has long baffled historians. The settlers' disappearance has long been shrouded in mystery for years. Many of the settlers included children and women. They arrived on the island in 1587 to help establish America's first English settlement. However, by 1590, the group was nowhere to be found, fueling ongoing speculation about their mysterious disappearance. Nearby, it was discovered that the settlement was empty, the fort in ruins and the mainland Indians hostile. The only clues left behind by the settlers were words carved into a fort's gatepost and a tree nearby. This sparked a theory that the settlers fled 50 miles to the Hatteras Island. Fast forward to 1937, and a 21-pound stone engraved with strange markings was found by a man in California. The man was driving in coastal North Carolina. The mysterious stone was taken to the history department of Emory University, but it ended up at the university in Gainesville. The stone is supposedly engraved with a message from one of the colonists, Eleanor White Dare, to her father John White, the colony's governor. It's long been a mystery why a woman would leave the safety of her European home for the New World, especially knowing nothing about the land and also because she was pregnant. John White had returned to England in 1587 to ask for help. However, on his return to the island three years later, he was unable to find any of the settlers. This would also have included his granddaughter, Virginia Dare, the first English-born child in the New World. The graving explains that Virginia went hence up into heaven 1591. Father soon after you go for England, we come hither. This is what can be seen on the reverse side of the stone. The engraving suggests the remaining colonists were killed by savages except for seven who were taken captive. The tourist who found the stone said he discovered it around 50 miles inland from the island. This is according to the National Geographic. However, while this has been called a major historical find, questions have been put forward about the authenticity of the stone. This is because more than 40 other engraved stones surfaced and were purchased by the university. While the majority of the so-called dare stones are widely acknowledged to be fakes, the first one which supposedly bears a message from Eleanor White Dare continues to fascinate historians. So what do you guys make of this mystery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.